According to CBC, film cameras regained popularity about four years ago. Now, why am I just getting into film in 2023? Well, I was gifted a point and shoot that used to belong to my grandma, and then a week later, I was gifted an old film camera from my girlfriend's grandpa, and now I have these two cameras, and I was like, I might as well start a new hobby. Now, after receiving these two film cameras, I feel like it is important to test them out before I start seriously using them. To be completely honest, I didn't know where to go to buy film, so I went to Amazon, and the best deal they had was three cases of Kodak Ultramax for I think a little over 30 bucks. Um, so that means two rolls for the two cameras I have and a roll for whichever camera works the best. So I may or may not be going down a rabbit hole of looking at a bunch of stuff about film cameras and watching a bunch of YouTube videos about film cameras, mainly from this guy. I really like his videos, very calming and very cool. It's just the way he looks at photos, the way he describes things. Um, anyway, I'm thinking about getting another camera just for fun. Hi guys, it's been a few days since you've seen me. So I did end up buying a camera off of eBay. I actually ended up getting two by accident because I put in my offers and I assumed one of them wasn't gonna go through, but they both went through and they were both on auto pay. So I'm in possession of two more film cameras. So to start off with the one I'm least excited about is this Maxim 7000, which is also a quick fun fact, is this was one of the first ever auto focusing cameras at its time. Maxim's autofocus lets you get perfect shots before others can even focus. Which is honestly really cool. What's also would have been really cool is if it worked, but the battery cavity has eroded and doesn't work. So I have to get a replacement for it. And my cat is sniffing the one that I actually am excited about. Is this Pentax ME Super? And a fun fact about this one is it has a self timer which was a feature I was looking for, but didn't even realize that it had until it came in the mail. But this one seems to work really well. It actually does stuff and I can actually use it. And I plan to test this camera out when I go down to my girlfriend's hometown for 4th of July. So in the meantime, I was waiting for those cameras to come in. I actually finished my first ever roll of film, which was on this Olympus Pen es 2 And again, this was the camera that was given to me by my girlfriend's grandpa. And a fun fact about him is that he served in Vietnam and during his time there, he was given this camera to help document his time, which means this camera is literally over 50 years old. One great thing about it, this man is that he loves keeping good care of the things he has. So this camera is in still great working condition and lucky for me, it can still take really good pictures. Now, without further ado, here are pictures from my first roll of film. This folks is the first ever film picture I ever took. Anyway, the next few pictures are some pictures from Worlds of Fun. Now here's a collection of just some random pictures I took. Now of course I was getting used to this camera so not every picture turned out great and here are some of those. All right guys, I literally just got back from my trip down to Sterling, Kansas for the fourth and I hope to God this camera takes good pictures. But before I go off and send this film, I also want to finish up the film on this little point and shoot, you know, to make it a little bit more worthwhile. And I thought I'd also take you along with me. Anyway, lucky for me, there's literally no one else here. Let's hope it stays that way. No! Let's, let's finish up this roll of film, guys. Anyway, I just took a picture of American flag over there just because I thought it was a nice contrast against the blue sky. It's actually super ominous that no one is here right now. Like you would expect on a Wednesday on a nice day. I mean, it's hot out, but like it's a nice day. There's no one. That's good for me though. People need to start using public property more. Use the tax dollars. Go do stuff. I thought it looks cool. It's like, oh, where's that go? Nowhere. It goes nowhere. Thirty-two pictures. That means about four more. I'm doing it, guys. Forgot I liked how the stuff over here looked. 
there's a some flowers over here and a bird house. It's a bird house. All right, I have about uh, I think one picture left. Anyway, I want to start heading back to the car. It is hot out here. It is hot out here. I'll take a picture of something random on the way back, I guess. All right, guys, we're back. What's the temp outside? 94. I touched grass today. Did you? Did you? Anyway, I think I actually have one actual picture left. I think I was lying. So I was thinking of taking a picture, like a, like a selfie with my camera. I don't know if that would be stupid, but who knows? I'm not trying to diss against point and shoots, but like sometimes I'm like, did I actually just take a picture with this or like, does that, did anything happen? There's only one way to find out, you know? I don't know if that was actually the last, guys, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell which is the last actual picture. Um, I'll take a picture of my keys, you know. Okay, that, that was the actual last picture. This one's a little tricky. Oh my God. And you just keep going until there's no more tension. Oh, we did it. Yippee! We did it guys. ISO 400 Kodak. Well, I guess I'll see you when the pictures are developed. I don't know what else to tell you. After what has felt like forever, I finally got my pictures back today. Yay! After showing you these pictures, I will give you my final thoughts on the cameras. and will stay the Pentax ME Super, then it'll probably go to the Olympus and then the Kodak, the quality of pictures follow. Using the Pentax is just super fun in my opinion. I like using it, I like being able to control the things and like kind of get some feedback on how the picture might turn out. With the Olympus, it's cool that you get twice as many pictures because of the half frames. Um, the picture quality, when you use the correct settings, it can be a really good picture. Um, and then the Kodak is really fun for extreme casual shooting and great for just trying to capture moments from a, a fun night. But I think I am going to continue exploring and doing a lot of fun stuff with film, which you guys will probably see the repercussions of that here on this channel, and I hope you um, look forward to that. But with that said, I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Maybe, I don't know. But I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs>